I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. I like to play at Mahjong time at an eight point table that equates to three fawn. So for this solitaire game, three fawn minimum. No chicken hands. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. South, West, and North We'll get 13 each. Then we'll look at everybody's hand and find some score. Hopefully. Three fawn. That's the minimum. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. Four flower, no score. They need ones. Ooh, they got a one dot. Look at all those dots. For this player, Oh, oh, for this player, half flesh with dots. That's a lot of discards. Potential Pung, three of a kind, potential Chow, potential Chow or Chow. We need, we need dots. Okay, a lot of work to do there. You might think, well, why not play all chows? If you mix suits with chows, that's one fawn. This is a three fawn minimum. We gotta get three fawn. And they have a four flower, no score. So half flush, three fawn. I think that's their only choice right now. Let's see what we can do for player two or south. They have two pair, both in BAMs, offsuits. I think I probably would play a half flush with BAMs and see if we pair up, we could play all Pung, maybe. The challenge here is when we Pung here, that's gonna leave two isolated tiles. The other option would be to break these out if we can get maybe another six bam or four bam, three bam, we could turn these into potential chows instead of pungs. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Let's see what we can do for West. They have a one flower. They won't get score for that. They need a three flower. Oh, they got a bam. The challenge here is they have a pair of West, which is their seat. They could get a fawn for that if we could pung it. Here's a pung of eights. They have no other pairs. And look at all these bams. I think I might try to push all pung. And that's gonna be a major push because they have a pung and a pair. They need to pair Let's up. Let's see what we can do for North. One flower, they won't get score for that. They need a four flower. They've got two pair, East, Red. 
the wind of the round is east round. If they get a pung of east or a pung of red, those are worth a fawn each. I think I would push for a half flush there and discard these first. Half flush is three fawn. If we pung that, that'd be four. Pung that, that'd be five. Let's see what happens. So here, I think we should discard the one crack. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Seven dot. They got a pair. All pung. One, two, three pair. We need to pair up. Let's get rid of the nine dot. And nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Two dot. They paired up too. If we can get them to all pung, that would be good. We have one, two, three blocks. Let's discard two crack and draw six crack. We want bams or cracks now. Equal chow potential. Let's get rid of this eight dot. Eight dot. Ooh, let's chow. Chow from north. A lot of times when you chow in a suit, that is an indicator that you're in that suit. So we've just made an announcement. Let's discard the three crack. Okay, now here, I'm thinking half flush with bam, so I would not take that. Or pair up and pung. So either way, we don't want to chow. We need to draw. We're looking to pair up here, I think. Two flower. They just got their own flower. That would be a point because they got their own seat. This is player one, player two, player three, player four. Eight crack. Let's see. Two crack was discarded. Let's discard that. All right, we're going to draw three crack. Oh, I threw away the two crack. All right, here we go up here. Three crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw seven crack. Okay, now we have more cracks than we do bams. So let's switch and get rid of this two bam. We're going to go for cracks. There's a potential chow here and here. Potential pung, potential pung. That's one, two, three, four blocks. All we need in here is a pair. And then that will bring a little comfort. And then we have work to do. We got a pung, pung, chow, chow. So now we're going to draw six dot. Okay, they needed that. Any dot is going to help. Let's discard this four bam. Four bam. If now they need to decide, they have one, two, three pair. That four bam, we could chow. And that would give us five discards. If we play all pung, all these would have to be discarded. Half flesh is three fawn, all pung is three fawn. We have one, two, three blocks if we do all pung. We have one, two, two blocks if we do all chow. All chow is a little more flexible though. Let's chow. Okay, so we're going to commit to BAMs. Let's go ahead and discard the eight crack. Get rid of the cracks. Okay, up here, eight crack, eight crack, eight crack right here. In solitaire, we're not going to Kong it. There's no value to Konging. In some home games, you get an automatic payout as agreed upon by the group. So we're going to stay concealed. Let's draw. Four dot. That's not helpful. We want to pair up. Let's see what's out. 
none of these are out. Let's discard the north because that's not going to bring them score. It could bring someone else score if they pair up, this player namely, but they're, they have no north, so that was a good discard. Let's draw. Oh, they just got the north. Yeah, and it's already been thrown. But let's get rid of these BAMs. 6 BAM. Okay, 6 BAM down here. Nope, nobody can take it. We're set for chows, and we're in dots here. Don't be tempted. We've got a chow out. We're committed. We need to draw. Red. That could bring score. Let's discard the 7 BAM. 7 BAM. We're going to chow. Either way, chow. We could have done a 5, 6, 7, but it doesn't matter, I don't think. Let's discard this 4 crack. 4 crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw 8 dot. Okay, we need to see what's out. 6 BAM was thrown. We need to pair up, I believe. Oh, that's not a pair. 6 BAM. Let's throw that. Okay, so we want to keep fresh tiles because we need to pair up. And there's only four of everything. Let's draw. We're looking for cracks. Or honors. Honors will do at this point. Let's hold them and get rid of the seven BAM. Okay, seven BAM. We want dots here. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. South. They paired up a south. That'll help them get to a half flush. We're going to discard that 8 BAM. 8 BAM. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. 1 BAM. That is a good tile for them. They could chow. Let's discard the 5 crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for West. 6 crack. We need to pair up here. Okay, 8 BAM was thrown. Let's discard that. 8 BAM. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for north. 3 BAM. We want cracks, not BAMs. So there's a 3 BAM there. And nobody can take it. You can't chow from the player across from you. You can only chow from the player on your left. We're going to draw for east. 7 crack. We want dots. 7 crack. 7 crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for south. 4 crack. That is a discard. 4 crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Last tile in the second wall. 5 bam. Not helpful. We need to pair up. Pair up. We need to pair up. Okay, what's out? What is out? None of these tiles are out. Let's throw the six crack. Actually, that probably would have been a better keeper because there are a lot of six crack or a lot of cracks out. If all, there are a lot of cracks out, that might have been a better tile to keep. All right, well, let's keep going. So we just got through the second wall. We're heading into the third wall, which is the middle game. Drawing for north. 9 BAM. We want cracks. Let's discard this 8 BAM. That is out in, an, in a discard and a chow. So that was a good discard. Let's draw for east. 5 BAM. 5 BAM. Let's get rid of the eight, 9 BAM. Nobody took the north. Or 3, 2, 1. Nobody claimed that 8, so maybe that 9 BAM would be safe. So let's go ahead and draw now for south. 4 crack. Drawing for west. 2 flower. No score. 3 BAM. That's a keeper. 
Well, no, it's not. We don't want chows. We want pears. So yeah, not helpful. Let's discard the nine bam. I kind of forgot that we were doing pungs, not chows. So nine bam was thrown. We're going to draw. Woo, one crack. Nice. We'll discard that nine bam. Okay, so they're cleared to one suit with honors now. There's a potential pung, a chow, five, six, seven. That's isolated. Or there's two potential chows. There's a potential pung and a potential pung. One, two, three, four, five. All these can go away. Okay, so now we're going to draw six crack. Nobody wants that. Drawing for south. Green! Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, they needed that. So they have BAMs. We need to get rid of this offsuit tile. Seven dot. Seven dot. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw three crack. Discard. Drawing for north. Five dot. That's a discard. Okay, now here we can chow because that will leave a potential chow. Just make sure when you chow that you're not leaving isolated tiles. Oops, that's the wrong one. Nope. Four, five. Yeah, like this. This was the wrong thing. That's isolated. These are both isolated, so I would not take that. We're going to put that back. We're not going to take that. Because that would leave isolated tiles. You're better off to draw. Okay, so that was a mulligan. Let's draw. Six dot. Now we're okay. Okay, so we're going to discard this five bam. Potential pung, potential chow, or chow, potential pung, potential pung. We need to get rid of that. We're going to draw because no one can take that five bam. Two dot. Yeah, doesn't matter. Let's throw it now because we're heading into the middle game now. And up here, we're going to pung, I believe. Yes, we're going to pung. Now, they need to pair up. So this is getting a little bit sketchy for them. We need to discard what's out. There's a four BAM in an exposure, a five BAM in an exposure and discarded, a three BAM discarded. I think the four BAM, five BAM, let's discard the five BAM. Just process of elimination. You want to give yourself the best chance to pair up because we're trying for all pung here. Five BAM discarded. Nobody wants it. We're going to draw. Seven crack. Okay, so they paired up there. Here's a potential punk, potential chow or chow. Five, six, seven, potential chow. Let's go ahead and discard this green dragon. A bit dangerous before we get into the end game. Okay, so then we're going to pung right here. Pung. Whoopsies. Okay, now let's get rid of the seven dot. Okay, so they still need to pair up or chow, and we need to probably get rid of that east, but at least they have options. So seven dot was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. 9 BM. Not helpful. It's been thrown. So that's actually a good discard. We're going to draw now for north, south. Okay, we need to make a decision here. Let's keep all these number tiles and discard. None of these are out. There's a north out. Let's discard the north. 
Either way, we need to get rid of those. We're going to draw now for east. Five crack. Nobody can take it. Can't chow from the player on your right. We're going to draw. They need to pair up. That would do it. We're going to discard the five bam, which nobody wants. They're ready to win on a three bam. Let's draw. Four dot, they paired up. Okay, now let's look at what's out. Four bam, I believe, was a good one. Or the three bam. There are no eight dot. Oh, there's one eight dot out. That would probably be an okay tile too. All right, now we're going to draw for north. Five crack, they paired up. Let's get rid of the west. West. Pung. So let's see, it would be like this. Pung. Okay, west. There's a pung pair. Let's get rid of either the three bam or the eight dot. It's kind of six one half dozen the other. Um, and they're actually getting closer. They're only one away. I would throw it three bam and that would be Mahjong for south. So we're going to put it, oh, we'll put it over here. So this player, let's see here. If we're south, it would be like that indicating that this player discarded it. Here's their pair. They have a pung of green dragons. Here's a chow and a chow. And a flower and it's theirs. Okay, so that is a good score for them. All right, so we have this player throwing the winning tile, and here we have a half flush with a pung of dragons. So that's going to be three fawn plus a fawn for the dragon. That's four fawn plus a fawn for their uh, flower. So that's five fawn. Five fawn. This player. pays double. So they would pay 4,000. Okay, 4,000. And then the other players pay 2,000 2, each. Okay, that's a nice hand right there. Half flesh, dragon pung, flower. Now, as far as this player, they have all, they were going for all pung plus their seat. That would be four fawn. And we're just in the middle of the middle game. So I would have pushed to win on that. And there was one eight dot out, one three bam out. So it was six, one half dozen the other. The only indicator that maybe should have been considered is the bams that were out with the green dragon. But this, uh, the, that three bam would have been more and more risky as the game pro progressed. So I think I would have thrown it as early as possible because eventually it was going to have to go one way or another because there was a three bam out and this is a fresh tile. I would have left myself with a fresh tile. This is out. So that's why I threw that. This player was ready to pung and chow, pung here, pung here. So that would have been a really sweet hand. This player was getting there too. They needed to pung or chow in here. They were set up nicely too. These would have all been really nice hands.
That was a nice hand. Half flush, dragon pung, flower. Those points add up. And if you throw that winning tile, ouch. Middle of the middle game though, would you have thrown that tile? Write it in the comments section below. Would you have pushed for all pung and discarded the three bam or the eight dot? I think I would have discarded that three bam, hoping that South was not ready yet, being in the middle of the third wall. It's a risk. Didn't pay off that time. They had to pay out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.